Welcome to Searching for History. I'm Aaron. This is Rollin. Hey. And the newest member of the Searching for History team is behind me. And she's not looking at me. And her name is Thora. And this is Thora. On this episode, I thought we would go and look at the town of Delphi. Delphi is more or less a ghost town. Uh, There really isn't a lot there, but we're curious of what still remains of the town. And uh, we're going to go take a look and see if we can learn a little bit about it. Delphi was a town in Thurston County, Washington. Uh, I believe it was established sometime in the late 1800s. I'm pretty sure Delphi was a logging town, but let's go see. So we are more or less in the center of Delphi. And to my knowledge, there's really only two features left of the town of Delphi. One is the school behind me, which was built in 1910 and operated for, I think, about 32 years. And then the other is uh, Delphi Cemetery, which um, is over in that direction, and we'll go take a look at that next. Apparently, somewhere around here, and I don't know exactly where, there was also a post office that was established in 1892, and it uh, operated for about 30 years. 1890s is around the era when the old growth was being logged uh, in the Capitol Forest, which is just west of here. I think that's another reason to suspect that this town had to do with the logging industry. (laughs) Hi, you silly goose. Where are you going to go? Huh? Come on, let's go. Okay, so this is the second schoolhouse, and it was built in 1910. There was a first schoolhouse in this location that was built in 1895, and then replaced in 1910. And the last class to go to the school was, the, was in 1942. <laughs> I think our dog wants to run around. Delphi School District 313. Did it say that that, are all those names the on people? The, on the bricks? On the bricks where? I think that's people who have donated money. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, local supporters. In honor of the Delphi dream, Bill Arneson, defender of Delphi. Whoa. Friends of Capitol Forest. So this is another schoolhouse that only has windows on one side? Yeah, and that's on the other side. So we can infer from that that um, the chalkboard is on this side. Unfortunately, it's locked up, so we can't get inside, but maybe we can uh, poke the camera uh, up to see in through some of the windows. You want to come up? really see anything in there. Looks like the classroom is behind another wall in there. Mm-hmm. This is this is like the coat the room. coat room. Yeah. Let's walk around. See if we can see any other features. This way. Okay, so this is where the classroom was, right inside here. Of course, these uh, storm windows or storm shutters are shut. So we can't look in, which that's unfortunate. 
there's windows there, and there's actually a chimney and a fireplace inside, or a stove, something. Oh, look, the bell is still up there. Do you see it? I do see it. Yeah, now I see it. I guess you'd call that a belfry? Yeah. All right, let's go find the cemetery. So what do you think, Thora? <laughs> do you want to go to school? <laughs> Based on this evidence, yes. I don't know. She's she pretty running eager away to get back school? to the truck. She's done with school. The Delphi Cemetery should be right down the road here, so we'll see if we can find it. It's going to be on the left, so let's, let's keep the eye out for it. It's funny, that old truck back there, it might have actually been around when Delphi was a town. Mm -hmm. So it should be right up here on the left. I don't know what the parking situation is. It's right here. Well, we won't be here long. I guess I'll block the road. So this is the Delphi Pioneer Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. It says Garden of Memories. You know, I've driven on this road, on Wattle Creek Road, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of times. I never knew there was a cemetery here. Ruth Brown was born in 1920, and she was buried here in 2017. So there are recent burials here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's because it's a family it's plot. A family this plot, is where all yeah. the Browns are buried. Okay, so here's an older one. Um, Nancy Broyles, born uh, 1820, died 1900. There used to be a lot more of a floral relief on here than it. There's an inscription at the bottom that you can't read. Margaret Turner. Mother of Nancy Broyles. Born in 1797 wow. and died in 1896. So 99 years old. And so wow. she was definitely a pioneer that came out here. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Aaron. I don't know if this is Japanese or Chinese. I'm just not familiar with these kind of characters. But see this? Yeah. Yeah. Like six characters on this piece of stone. It's interesting, but then it's Kathleen Jordan died in 1996, but this this looks older. It looks really old. Here's another older one. 1909. So this is the Brown family. These are all early 1900s, late 1800 deaths. 
This is a good example that you don't have to go far from home to find history. In this case, this is just right outside of Olympia. So what are your thoughts on Delphi? There's not very much left, but what is left is cool. Uh, it would be neat to get into that schoolhouse. The cemetery is really cool. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the schoolhouse is all locked up and, the, and most of the windows you can't even look inside. Yeah. It's interesting that the Delphi Pioneer Cemetery has been used relatively recently and there's some really, really old grave markers there as well. It appears that these are mostly family plots and members of the families that have been here since the Pioneer era yes. are still being buried in the cemetery. We hope you enjoyed this video on Delphi and stay tuned, there's going to be more coming. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.